hi there uh, welcome back thanks for being here so in our last learning uh, we have talked about how to uh, invoke the basic auth.javascript function uh, this helps us to uh, supply the credentials such as username and password when we are especially working with basic authentication so that in turns uh, helps in sending the header which is an authorization so now in this learning so we are not going to uh, see anything new with respect to the functionality uh, of the service new application so rather what we are going to do so we will be optimizing the feature file so if you look at uh, the feature file so there are some uh, parameters which should not be presenting in a feature file uh, because uh, one, uh, one good example is URL so if you are maintaining the URL things in a particular feature file so what happens is that so you are going to end up doing a lot of maintenance so this step becomes redundant in every feature file so however you can uh, minimize your work by having that in the uh, background but still uh, you will have to manage it in each and every uh, feature file so that is again a tedious or monotonous job and also uh, you have seen me mentioning username and password in the feature file so this should not be there too so ideally like uh, whenever we are working with any data driven or uh, behavior driven frameworks uh, in your front end automation like, such as selenium frameworks or in your back end automation rest assured frameworks so such environmental properties are basically be placed in a, a, a property file dot property file so where you will invoke uh, as a before suite or a before step so that you will have all those details loaded and you will feed those values to the script so how do we do that in karate so how do we actually read all these a uh, front and then feed these values to a test case so let's see how can we do that in uh, karate so let's go through the documentation so karate has uh, one uh, feature called karate config.js so how we have basic auth.js so karate has built a similar such config file so where they are expecting us to mention all these environmental parameters so from there we can uh, pull the values and supply it to the respective feature files as we work with so let me search for the keyword karate hyphen js uh, karate hyphen config karate hyphen config dot js so there we i think we have got some results so let me find for the actual file so yeah there you go uh, if you click on click in here so karate config dot js where it is an env env environment specific file so this the file looks like this guys so this is a, a pure javascript code so where you have a function and you have a, a environmental variable declared and it says karate.environment where you will read the uh, environment from the system property java system property and based upon the uh, environment uh, value uh, corresponding uh, url and the username and password so corresponding environment details would be uh, returned by this function and uh, since we are working with some public application some uh, service now application which is created by me since we do not have many environments to handle at this point in time so i would create one karate config js in my project and i will only add the details with related to host url and username and password so but however i'll show you like how to write blocks for different environments but I'm not in a position to execute and show in a couple of environments given the constraint I have only one environment yeah so let's uh, uh, go to the project and let's add the file karate uh, config.js in my class path so let me add that so which is a file type so I think I've got a necessary pop-up let me close this one so let me right click here again right click and then click on other and it should be a file type and then I would mention this as a karate hyphen config dot js so this is the file that I have just created and I would say this I would write a function uh, function fun is a JavaScript function so what I would do I would say var config equals to I would say host uh, 
uh, is some value and user is some value and pass is the last value and I would simply return config yeah so what I would do from this particular feature file I will just copy this particular URL and I'll paste it there so control C and I will just put it in here in comma and next the username I, I do know that username which is admin and password is x capital xerox at one two three so uh, this is the password and uh, and and this is the uh, details of my url and all that so this function basically returns me uh, the details of host url and uh, user and password so how do i actually use those and you need not invoke uh, guys like how you have invoked basic iphone author or js because karate.config.js is something which automatically be loaded because it is in class path and that is how the design of uh, karate uh, so far so what we would do so instead of this i would just give as host because that variable is already present in config.js file and now username uh, instead of that i would just give hash and user so hash uh, within the parenthesis you have to uh, call in the variable that you have uh, saved in the config.js file so you would have seen me saving it as a user and in a similar fashion I would also use it as a pass because there I have declared a variable as pass and now I no longer need to uh, hard code the username and password details in the feature file also the host name so this is how uh, you can uh, make use of the karate-config.js file so let's run this file to see nothing breaks uh, and we are good so let me right click run as cucumber feature file so it has started executing so it invoked and it is still going on yeah that's it get test case got passed so here you can see the actual response since we have applied some query uh, parameters uh, we have seen only three fields in the response so this is how uh, you can optimize these uh, things here so now uh, instead of hard coding these urls we can actually make use of uh, karate config js and call in those variables and uh, it, it would be very easy uh, for us to uh, do this so that's it for this video guys so i i i, I hope that you have learned uh, something new here please do subscribe to this channel and like this video you have a great rest of today